Welcome! In this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a Cochrane's Q-test using Microsoft Excel. Unfortunately there is no straightforward formula in it, at least not in the built-in version of uh, Microsoft Excel, so we'll have to go over all the steps one by one. Um, I prepared this spreadsheet to help me along the way, but in essence we only need the original data. In this case it's about four movie theaters and people were asked if they visited those or not. The movie theaters uh, are from uh, Amsterdam, so the Munt movies, Tuschinski and Arena. And a zero indicated that somebody didn't uh, visit that. And a one indicated that they did visit. So this person didn't visit any of these three and only visited the arena. So let's get started. The first uh, few things we need is the number of variables that we have. So that's in this case four, so we're simply going to be typing that in. And you can define a success as either not visited or success is that they did visit it. I think success as a one in this case visited sounds more logical. And then we need the total number of cases, which is count and then any of them because I don't have any missing values. Otherwise remove any rows that have actually a missing value. Um, yeah, I'm also assuming that you don't have any numbers above these columns, otherwise you have to specify the range and you cannot just uh, specifically, so instead of AA it would have been A2 till the last one in this case A151. Uh, this goes for a lot of things, so I'm not going to repeat that every time, just bear in mind that whenever you see a range, uh, if you have other things above these, then you have to really be specific here. Now let's get really started. Uh, the first thing we need is the total number of successes per variable. So uh, up here you can see what that formula should look like and that's simply uh, count if and then select the range which was in my case the entire column then a semicolon and then the criteria is the one we defined for success. I don't want that to change so press F4 and it puts dollar signs around it then close and press enter or control enter and then I can actually copy paste this down that will give me 81 all the time so this one is the next column click on the border and you can drag it or you can just manually type in the difference this one should be Tushinsky so let's move that one up two on two and the last one should be the arena so let's move this all up to column D then we also need the total of these, so that's the sum function, or you can also use alt equals, that's a shortcut for the sum function, press enter, and now we have 244 as the big N. Then this looks a little bit scary, but it's nothing else than this one, and then minus this one divided by K, which was this one, and then square those results. Also the formula is up here, and I can simply type in equals, this one minus and then this one with an F4 again to get the dollar signs divided by the number of successes F4 again because also that needs to be fixed close the parentheses and square the result I can copy paste this immediately down it's always good to double check if everything goes well so for example here we have a 0 and that's because 244 divided by 4 is actually 61 so indeed 61 minus 61 squared would be 0. Again we add up all these results just to complete the table and we go to our next uh, thingy which is step 3 determine the total number of successes for each case so I can do that in column E which is now equals count if again now the range is these semicolon or comma depending on if you're using uh, which version of Excel you're using or the language settings actually and again success is defined as we had in cell K7 so block that with an F4 so the dollar signs are around it and then copy paste this down or if you select the cell and double click on the lower right corner of it you get the autofill handle and it copies it down for you as you can see scrolling back up and double click on one of them and you can see that it nicely still does what it's supposed to do multiply each of the results of step 3 by the number of failures from the corresponding case so and actually so that means this one times now we had 4 in total 
that needs to be blocked minus how many successes we had so in this case that should produce a zero times uh, um, four is actually zero so let's see if that works yeah it's indeed zero double click again on the lower right corner and here we get one success which means that there were uh, three failure failures one times three equals indeed three which is um, so the next step is to determine Cochrane's Q which is this scary looking formula but if we break it down it's actually not too bad it's equal to K which was this one then multiplied by K minus one so times open parentheses and then again K six that's the cell where K is in minus one then multiply it by the sum of all those square differences which we already did up here and then divide it by the sum of all those that we had in column F so sum of column F so that's our Q value then we're almost done we need the degrees of freedom which is simply the number of categories that we have minus one and then we can determine the significance using a chi-square approximation you can either use the newer version chi-square dot dist and then we want the right tails version and then the Q is uh, this one and the degrees of freedom is this one and that should give us 0 0.00023 you can also use the old chi dist function and the same input the Q and the degrees of freedom close it and this uh, is our final p-value or significance um, as you might notice it's below 0.05 which is the usual threshold so that means that these numbers the number of successes are actually not all equal um, if you're curious if we would have used a zero as a success then the end result as you can see is still exactly the same Alright, sorry for the long video, but I don't think it can be done any quicker with Excel. Uh, unless you're using someone's um, user-defined function using VBA, for example. Alright, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.